Well, this month sees the birthdays of two of the most infamous names of the sea, William Bly and Fletcher Christian. The events of the mutiny on the Bountany so fascinating, they inspired three Hollywood films. And today, descendants of the two men met in Sydney. Their surnames are tattooed into maritime law. Bly and Christian. And today, their ancestors would meet, thankfully not in open sea, but at an exhibit at the Australian National Maritime Museum on Bly, hero or villain. He was a man of great detail, but he was also, of course, known as a great disciplinarian. He was a tough man. I'd say this, John, even though we had to put his, his descendant adrift, it's, it, it, it helped us to, to, to where we are today. The story of the mutiny on the bounty would divide these two families eight generations ago. One side forced into a long boat and a miraculous 6,000 kilometre trip across open ocean to salvation. And his knowledge of uh, what it would take to keep those men alive that made that trip successful, I, I just don't, it's extraordinary that it was. The other side left to oscillate the islands of the South Pacific. The women liked him in Tahiti, so, you know, so that's where our downfall, I think, went in the very beginning. Well, I don't think it was Robinson Crusoe yeah. there. <laughs> The exhibit shows the logs Bly kept in the longboat, the daily weather and sea conditions, along with a list of those who had mutinied, drafted in open sea with nib and inkwell. Despite the Hollywood reputation, he, he rarely used corporal punishment, um, which was quite common in those days, unfortunately. But while Bly and the bounty became synonymous, his career as a war admiral, an amateur naturalist, a governor in a corrupt colony is gorgeously revealed with stunning artefacts. And on the question of hero or villain, where visitors can cast their vote, the descendant of Bly's famous protagonist surprises with his ballot. Yeah, I reckon he was a hero, to be really honest. I reckon he was a hero, John. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. We have peace in our time. Mike Dalton, Nine News.